Hey everyone, Michael Lombardo here from Glidefast Consulting. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about tooltips. Um, filled messages, uh, informational messages to help us, you know, give a little indication of what the field is, a um, little description about the field, and help our user community, um, you know, understand why we're asking them this field or what this field means. A lot of times customers will ask us, hey, what does this field mean? I know it's in the form. I know it's required. What's the purpose of this, right? So um, usually uh, it really helps to give some type of information about the field. And then, you know, certain requirements will call for different types of um, tooltips, right? So like uh, many other solutions and service now, there's multiple ways to achieve a solution, but there's slightly an advantage and a disadvantage to choosing each one, right? So what I want to do is empower you to know all of the tools available to you for you to make your own decision, right? So a lot of times the 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 when the way things get lost on an implementation is just lack of knowledge, right? We we may say, oh, this is the only way you can do it, or this is this is the best way, but is it really? Do you know every you know possible option of, of doing that? Um, so I just I'm going to show you guys um, basically about three uh, different ways to do a tooltip. Um, there obviously is additional ones to that, but I think that kind of steps into a little bit more advanced customization. So I'm, I'm just going to stick to kind of the quote-unquote out-of-the-box um, three different options to, to do a tooltip. So uh, the first one is, is your standard uh, hover over out-of-the-box ServiceNow tooltip. If you look at the impact one, it says measure the business criticality of the affected service. So I'm gonna guys quickly show you how to edit that, add, add that tooltip in particular. I'm gonna right click, go to configure dictionary. And it's actually under the labels tab. So a lot of people don't know that the, the hint actually, or the hint or the tooltip actually resides on the label. And if you look, we have, um, on the task, so basically every table that's not additionally specified, such as problem, is going to have this um, hint that we just saw. On the problem table, it has its own uh, individual label, so that, that's obviously only going to apply to problems. So we're going to go ahead and modify the task one, um, and I'll just go ahead and show you that we're gonna, this is the hint field, and the hint field has a hint, right? Defines a text that appears in the tooltip when a user points, it to a points to a link in this item. So I'm just going to go ahead and add Glidefast here. Um, and that'll just show you what that looks like when we modify it. Go back to create an incident. And you'll see if I go to impact, uh, it just now has Glidefast in front of it. Really straightforward, really simple. Another way, um, and you'll see it's out of the box with priority. If we go ahead and just click priority, it actually brings us to a... Um, Doc, ServiceNow Docs page, and, and to show us a little more about priority field, um, would I recommend this, obviously, uh, for your, this is more of an admin type informational stuff, I think. Um, actually, no, you know, the, the, this could help your, your IT folks as well. Um, but, you know, the, the, this is just a great use case of where you want to maybe click out to a URL. Obviously, um, a disadvantage of this is we're moving off of the incident form screen, but, you know, again, depends what your requirement calls for. This may actually call for that. So where do we go to uh, modify this? Same area, actually. We're gonna go to labels, um, diction we're gonna go to the dictionary item of the field priority. We're gonna go over to the label of incident because this one's specifically called out an incident. And if you'll see right here, it has a hint and it has the URL. So this is the URL that actually um, points to the docs um, site. And I'll just go, go ahead and show you the uh, something we can modify there. I'll put in a little good old gladfast.com here. We'll save it. I'm going to go ahead and go back to an incident. And when we click it, we're going to gladfast.com. Even though we're already there, let's take us there again. And if you look, it has your, there's your tool tip as well. So again, this is taking you off of the form. Keep that in mind. Um, I would really try to keep it, you know, use this with caution, right? Because, uh, you know, I wouldn't put necessarily a knowledge article in this form, uh, in, in this fashion. Maybe, you know, maybe I'd, I'd rather have a nice kind of pop-up window. I'm a big fan of pop-up windows. Uh, and speaking of pop-up windows, I'll give you another 
um, way to do this, um, which is going to require some code, but I'll actually share the code with you guys because I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> and uh, so here's kind of the requirement. I've actually done this. I've done this several times for client for customers, and it just came across my desk recently as well. So you know, and, uh, I actually had I couldn't locate the code, so I kind of had to rewrite it. So, um, but uh, um, so here's the scenario, right? Where you have such a, a super long description here. Um, if you look at this, right? You know, this is describing urgency. Actually, I think it's supposed to be impact, but um, you know, a high, large number of staff. There's just a lot of text right here. So, you know, putting that into a tool tip, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to decipher. You can enable HTML in these, by the way, or um, across the platform in a way for certain, for certain areas, um, which will allow you to do breaks in, in HTML to kind of make it a little bit cleaner. Uh, what, I, what I do is I created a UI macro to actually, you know, give us some information here. So uh, it gives us a nice pop-up window, you know, we can HTML stylize it any way we'd like. Um, really, really clean. But again, like I wouldn't do that pop-up window for a simple, um, let's see, business service? Can I, yeah, item or service. Like I wouldn't use a pop-up window for something text that small. But the requirement, there's always a time where requirement calls for this huge thing, uh, a huge description of a field, and you don't want to do that. So, uh, and then priority, again, I don't want to pop up a new window, you know, for, for something. So just if you, your service desk folks are confused, hit the pop-up window, boom, it's there. Um, so the way we did this is a UI macro. UI macro here. Um, Uh, and basically, we're just—it's a glide moto, moto window. We're gonna actually go over to a UI page um, that actually controls the text. All right, it's just the the macro actually pops up the window, and then the macro calls the UI page, and boom, you know, it, here's our here's our description, and we stylize it, make it nice and clean. So um, that's really it. It's really straightforward. I'm going to share the code with you guys. Um, I'll put it up as a blog on the website. And thanks, as always, for, for tuning in. And um, check us out at GlideFast.com, at GlideFast on Twitter. Find us on LinkedIn. My name is Michael Lombardo. You can email us at uh, info at GlideFast.com. We are hiring, and we want to talk to you. If you're passionate about ServiceNow, uh, if you if you need help with ServiceNow, if uh, you know you're you're about to go through an implementation, or you just recently have, and you're um, nervous, let's talk. Let us let us help you through your journey. Um, we've been through it several several times, and and we're super passionate about this. Um, so if you're e equally passionate, um, or if if you need our help in any way, we're here to help. Thanks, everyone.